Melissa here. Thanks for watching. I thought I would share a couple of products that I picked up earlier this week at the pharmacy. And they are all Eyes Lips Face. What's the face? Yeah. Elf. So much more fun to say. So I picked these up. Um, the pharmacy up by where I work got in a bunch of new stuff. It's new to that location, it's new to me. May not be new to Elf, but anyway, I wanted to share them with you. As you can see, I have gotten out of the bath. I've done my skincare routine. The products that I picked up this week. First, I'll talk about this. This is a dark circle corrector. And um, if you're not familiar with them, um, on the color wheel, pretty much orange is across from blue. So they kind of cancel each other out. And the whole point is to put a, uh, depending on where you're from, how you say it, salmon, salmon, whatever. But it's a salmon colored uh, concealer or stick. There's even a video floating around out there to put red lipstick under there and then your foundation over it. I'm not trying that. That just sounds ridiculous. But anyway, I, I bought another one by uh, NYX, NYX, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's pretty much the same concept. You can see that it's a really dark color. And actually, um, I mixed this with one that I had bought by Benefit, and I can't remember the names. The Benefit was like 20 or $22. And this one was $6, so just uh, FYI on that. This e.l.f. correcting stick was 4 bucks, and I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, you put this on first. It's the very first step, um, and you put it where you need to. Kind of sponge it on. I use my um, beauty blender, and... Then you, depending on how you do it, you put your concealer and then your foundation or your foundation and then your concealer. And so, you know, you're, you don't have orange under here and it all blends really well. And um, it's creamy. You can see um, that it does have an orange hue to it. It's thick and creamy. It went on good and it did a fantastic job covering the darkness. So I give it a thumbs up four bucks and they have it this is the for fair skin tones and they have one for medium to deep the next one is this and it is a aqua primer mist i think this was eight bucks it's a good good size okay i'm going to compare it to this you know imperfectly normal is my youtube channel name gonna keep it real um you know when you're cleaning uh, your spray bottle has two settings, one that like comes out straight like a laser, and then the kind of mist spray. Well, this is a laser at your face, and they say that you can use this before and set your makeup with it and refresh afterwards, but mm -mm. this is a big no for me. <sighs> This is my favorite. I am wondering where this has been all my life. I'm not kidding. I'm, this is for real. Looks like lipstick tube. Um, it was $4. Um, if you're not aware of how wonderful and amazing it feels to exfoliate your lips, then you're missing out. Um, there are some expensive lip masks, if you will, lip scrubs. Sarah Hap is one brand that I've been wanting to try, um, but it's pretty expensive. So I just came upon this one, and it is in stick form, just like a lipstick. And this one is brown sugar, so it's got the granules. It's very grainy, and you can see that I've already used it. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I need to go back and buy another one or be sure that I can get it online because it's so awesome. Smells wonderful. So I give this an A plus. You'll want to kind of scrub it on 
and then take a warm washcloth and wipe it off. You don't leave it on. And then afterwards, what I do, and this is at night, um, I put on this lip mask. I believe it's Laneige. They are, um, it's a Korean company. And this is a lip sleeping mask and it has, and it has vitamin C and um, some other really nice uh, antioxidants and things in it and it feels amazing. And you wake up the next morning and your lips are baby soft. 20 bucks, you can get this at Sephora. That's where I got mine. It's in a big container. It smells like watermelon or berries, but um, this will last a really long time. So that's really all I have. Um, stay tuned again if you're interested in learning about Beauty Counter. I'm not selling it. Um, I'm going to give honest opinions on what I think about it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Please subscribe, leave any comments. If you have any ideas of videos and what you might like to see, let me know.